Hey, you two, what's your names? I'm Jerry. And I'm Tammy. And we're from Ticonderoga, New York. And we love being here in Quartzsite. Nice. Thank you. Hey, all, Russ here over your TV. Welcome. Check it out. Guess what? We are here. This is the start of it. Welcome to Quartzsite, Arizona. End of October, actually Halloween weekend, 2022. Tis the season. Snowbird season starts now. First November, my goodness, three weeks away from Thanksgiving. Deserts are already starting to get quite a few rigs out there. Unbelievable. Nice and warm yet, too. But a change of weather coming soon, they say. I've been running around through town. I've checked mail at the post office. Get caught up and meeting some really good folks. Coming up and say, hey, we watched the videos. We're here because of your videos. And I just love it. Perfect. Anyway, let's do our traditional drive around town. And actually, we're going to stop. Check out something new, something historic. I drove out to La Posa South last night. They had a big Halloween party function going. It was a Facebook group called the Friends of Quartzsite. They had a big barbecue going, costumes out, pretty cool event. Right here on the left is Patty's Propane, RV Park of Propane. They're putting in a water store there, starting up a barbecue. And my friend Devin Rosner is now Councilman Rosner. So congratulations, Devin. He'll be a good asset to Quartzsite. Good business owner. Young and ambitious. Off to the left is Crawford's RV Park. They're still going. Fuel's over five bucks, of course. <laughs> Laundromat's open on the left. You can get a shower there, too. They got showers. Taco Mio on the right. They're open. You know that big RV dealer? They uh, sold out. That lot is for sale there on the left. 9.3 acres it's like three million bucks something like that it's up there but if you're looking for a big lot in quartzite there you go <laughs> this is central and maine off to the left would take you down to yuma to the right up to parker arizona and all the way up to lake havasu also up here in the right is the good old quartzite post office it is a small town post office that gets really, really busy. There's a museum on the left. And the pizza place. Crossing over Tyson Wash here. We are going down Main Street. We're heading west. Then the old RV parks down there through here. Holiday Palms there on the left. Got Hassler's on the right. You know, Hassler's has metal sculptures. They put Christmas lights on there. It's really cool to see it around Christmas time. Then you got old 88 Shades and the other ones up through here. Alright, you see this big sign here that says on the right, Solar Bills. We're going to come back to that. I want to show you something that he uh, added to that uh, old jailhouse behind there. He's got a historic site. Look at them old ruins there. Some old buildings way back in the 1800s, I'm sure. 
Then right up here where the yellow tank is, you know that one. Vendors of Main Street. Ooh, they even got a Chinese restaurant there at the Stagecoach. Check that out. But here at the yellow tank, K&B Tool plus uh, Ken's Groceries back there, Grocery Outlet. Be sure to go see Ken at uh, the Grocery Outlet. He is one good guy. Really supports Quartzsite well. But, you know the old saying, the more flags you see flying in the streets, the more businesses that are open. In another few weeks, the streets will be lined with flags. We can see them there. There's the uh, Main Street Trading Post. He's open. Phil Bates are selling pizza out behind there. Chamber of Commerce is opening up. Off to the left is a green restaurant. They're open. Gem World, they look like they're opened up. So there you go, there's a trip down Main Street. Trip down memory lane. <laughs> I love it here, I do. <laughs> well, let's do this. Let's go up here and flip a Yui. We'll head back down to uh, Solar Bills. You know what, they keep expanding and uh, you don't really realize it, Tesla, they have put in a huge supercharger uh, system here. I mean, they can charge a lot of cars. Let me get turned here, the camera will pick it up. Straight on out to the old Quartzsite Airport. Let me turn here. There it is. Look at all those charging stations right next to uh, Carl's Jr.'s. Actually going to do a live stream event later this fall down here at the main trading post. Because actually can get Wi-Fi now. They got that. They got that fast net here. Plus, I just ordered up that uh, RV uh, Starlight system. Look at that uh, RV dealer there in the left. That's new. Always something new in Quartzsite. Every year when I get back here. Okay, this big building up here on the left, they're new owners. They bought it a couple years ago. Gus and Rose. Two of the nicest people you ever want to meet in your life now own solar bills. And these guys work hard. They put in some long hours. They even went back, uh, he told me, Gus said, uh, get some solar training through the summer back in Texas to improve their service. Anyway, we'll walk inside, check it out. But this is solar bills. I'll show you what's out back. We, we're going to do something more than just look at solar. Big colorful sign. Solar Bills has been around Quartzsite for a lot of years, but these guys took it over. All right, let's go inside. Ooh, they got people in here. Look at all the batteries from regular car batteries. And he's got all the lithiums in here for solar. All of the hookups for it. Inverters, charge controllers, more batteries. He gets pretty good prices. And look at that. They got Blue Eddy in here, the solar generators. He's now selling Blue Eddy. Uh, look at the miner. This is part of the new stuff. He got a bunch of statues. This is one of them. 
all made out of metal that was made down in Mexico. New and used solar panels. New and used inverters. And all your charge controllers. I mean, whatever you need. He's normally got it even in stock. Plus he'll cut wire, make your terminals, all that for batteries. But out back here, there is a historic building. This is why we stopped. Look at this. This is an actual historic building. This is the old jail house from way back. Actually, it's being looked at by the Historical Society. The door actually came off out of the prison down in Yuma. Yuma Territorial Prison. They actually held prisoners in there back in the day. This whole area down here was the original downtown quartzite. If you go to the museum, there's all kinds of uh, photos of this. It flooded. There was several feet of water that ran down through here uh, during monsoon seasons, way before they had the big washes and all that. Decades, generations ago. There's Main Street. But yeah, it was a totally different world down here. Absolutely incredible. Way out, there's Tyson Wells. And you can see the RV parks. You know, we'll do this in, in a few weeks and you'll see just how much it fills up here. Then all the residential area. RV parks all scattered all through the neighborhoods back there. I think I asked the chamber. I think there's 75 to 80 RV parks in Quartzsite now. But there it is. That's the original door. One of the doors from the Yuma Territorial Prison. Now here's our statues. Look at these. That's the sheriff. Look at the detail of them things. And there's your inmate. <laughs> Too cool. <laughs> go, go in. All right, you guys. Oh, this door's heavy. <laughs> He's like, I don't think yeah. so. <laughs> All right, Gus is in the slammer. There you are. Help, oh. help. <laughs> you and your dog, you just escaped. <laughs> Smile and wave. Yay. Perfect. You have to come and see Gus and Rose. Whether you want solar or not, uh, it's open to the public. You're more than welcome. Go back and get pictures of the jailhouse. It's one of the historic buildings of Quartzsite. Always a fun stop there. Them two guys just lift your spirits. Full of good nature. Well, let's go to the south end of town. <laughs> Which is across the freeway. Go check out Tyson Wells. We gotta make one appearance there anyway, huh? Look at this heavy traffic in Quartzsite. These truck stops get full. And I mean full. Because we're so close to the California border. They fill up full of fuel here before they go into California and I mean, the streets are lined for them things. At night, you can't park. They are parked everywhere. Okay, here is the world famous Exit 17, the one to avoid. When it's busy here in the wintertime, you always want to use Exit 19. And 
right down here to the right would be Dome Rock Road. To the left is Kewen. Kewen Street. There's that Loves. See that big dirt lot? They All the trucks were parking in there and they uh, kicked them all out. Someday they'll do something with this lot. All right, let's run down to Tyson Wells, what do you say? Wait till you see this up here. Okay, this is queuing. We're gonna drop down. Now, this is Tyson Wash. This big ravine here. It goes all the way through town. This is the big storm drain system of quartzite. Look at the roads. Look at the mud. This is from all the summer's storms. Look at the big piles of dirt. And they've been hauling some of it out. I mean, this thing flooded. It closed the road. It took out some of the pavement. This was a raging river several times through the summer during the monsoon season. Biggest monsoon season in 10 years, they say. All right, you know the copper roof right here. This is the Tyson Wells Game Store and also the Tyson Wells Showgrounds. Game stores open October 1st through uh, April. And you can see the seasonal guys are opening up. That's all seasonal. These guys are here from October through April as well. There's the big tent lot. Totally empty. You can see where the tent sits. If I see RVs over there, they're starting to clean up the lot. That's quite a job to uh, clean all that up. That's looking back down towards town. Interstate 10. And right now, the that's the RV park straight down. And within a few weeks, you'll see the difference. This place is going to get packed. Well, cool. This is just a little sneak peek. Tis the season, snowbird season. Be traveling down through here and stuff over the next few months. But once again, check out the game store. If you've ever seen a store like this, I never have. It's just packed full. Arts and craft supplies, quartzite memorabilia and t-shirts. Good old Kenny at KMB, he's all opened up. Plus old Burley with all the flags and banners and Serene's fashion. She's been vending here for years. Well, coming up gonna head north got a couple weather systems coming through so tis the season two for filming gonna go back up around Lake Havasu and Kingman maybe do a little Route 66 and then coming back down here in oh probably a couple weeks when things are starting opening up a little bit more Journey continues. Talk soon.